big things are sometimes little things, but sometimes little things end up being big things. Here's what I mean by that. My example is music, my music studio. I just, okay, for years, I, I've been recording my own music for a very long time. Um, like, more than a decade. But for many, 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 many of those years, I didn't really know that expensive microphones were that important. I thought the difference between them and what I had seemed smaller than the difference in what they cost. Um, and, and the difference that they have is a detail that I had not yet learned to hear. But one day I went to, instead of self-record, I went to record at someone else's studio and they put a really nice microphone in front of my guitar. I had me play and I was amazed at how without any extra processing it's just the, the mic and it's a good mic into a good preamp and into the computer. I was amazed at just how it, it did sound like my guitar was supposed to sound. And, but I, it is hard to describe why, but really it's about the details, it's about sonic details that the, the mic was able to pick up and the character that the mic itself and the preamp added to the guitar it just made it interesting. A lot of my recordings sounded like just a little bit thin, but I don't know, I figured that I was processing it wrong, or I wasn't a good enough mixer, blah blah blah. Well, I did eventually, have to, after that, have to justify to myself that it was worth making a big purchase for a little change. Like, it, it is small. The differences between microphones, if you are, if you have a layman's ear, like if you're not a producer or a musician and you're not actively trying to describe the characteristics of sounds and stuff like that, the difference can seem very small. But when you're listening to professional recordings compared to your friend's basement recordings or something, even if you can't describe those small differences, you're, they are actually big enough for your ear to, to distinguish between professional and amateur audio quality. So it's small, but it's big. Okay, so I ended up investing a good amount of money into a microphone. And those little differences ended up being a huge difference in the way that I felt about my recordings and my confidence of my production. And then I went another step and made a big purchase on a little difference, which was uh, buying a preamp, a mic preamp. Uh, I did some research on different sound qualities why you might want one over the other, and I just kind of went for it. I don't know that much. I'm not really a sound engineer. Uh, I'm kind of a baby when it comes to that. The technicals and the electronics and stuff when it comes to sound. But anyways, I bought this preamp and then put my, my mic through that preamp, and it's another little difference. But the two of them together, compared to what I was using before, two big purchases for two little differences, have, have ended up really, like, entirely re-encouraging my perception of myself as a producer. It's 
it's not that I was really inept, it's that I hadn't invested in the details so much. And so it was hard to make, it made it harder to make something really special. Because when you listen to albums that are special, there's like everything has a color, nothing is lacking, nothing is thin. Everything is like all the way there and intentional. And sometimes that literally does take some hardware, take some actual money being poured into your tools. Um, so that's something that I'm learning right now. Little things aren't always little things. And I, I guess what I want to say is there might be things that you've perceived as little in your life and so the cost might feel too big. That doesn't mean necessarily money cost. It might mean like decision type cost, like something you have to give up to get something else be time or whatever it could be a time cost you might have the perception that this difference that you do want to make is too small to justify the cost but those little details in your life can actually be the tipping point it can be the thing that pushes you right past this threshold that you were at that makes big, big differences. So, and in that case, I would have to say, trust your intuition a little bit more. Don't assume value. Don't underassume value when when making your cost um, analysis. Because a lot of times you might be selling yourself short and you might not think this difference you need to make in your life is worth the cost. But you might you might be overestimating that cost and underestimating that gain. That's what I'm going to leave with you with for now. That's what I'm learning. I'm sure there's many other places in my life that this applies to. Um, yeah, thanks for listening.